Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to just discuss the medicines that you would need to consider having on your farm. Uh, this is going to be some kind of uh, first aid, uh, but you can always reach out to your vet uh, to ensure that you get uh, medicine for your, uh, your rabbits. But sometimes when you need these services, you find that uh, the vets are not are readily available, especially in this part of the world, uh, Africa, where even we have uh, challenges finding uh, vets that are conversant with treating rabbits and even finding medication that is specifically made for rabbits. So when you have these medicines on your farm, you are able to give your rabbits first aid as you wait for these veterinary officers to come to come around and, and, and treat your animals. So let's get into the these medicines. The number one uh, medicine that you must have on your farm is this ivermectin. Now ivermectin is going to work uh, on any skin disease uh, for your rabbits. Uh, if your rabbits are having mange, uh, they are having ear mites, uh, they are having any skin disorder, this is going to be uh, your solution for that problem. You, this is an injectable, so you inject it under the skin uh, of the rabbit, and this will do you wonders. Uh, the second medicine on uh, our list is is this pen strip. Uh, pen strip is an antibiotic. Uh, the main uh, component in this is penicillin, so this is a good antibiotic. Uh, now, antibiotic will work. Uh, when your rabbit is having some kind of fever, uh, your rabbit is maybe has has a wound, uh, something like that. This is going to be able to uh, to help you and and any other bacterial uh, disease. This is going to be able to to save your rabbit. Uh, this is also an injectable, so you need to have. A syringe, you can get a, a small syringe. Uh, this is going to be really cheap at uh, the pharmacy. And you can be able to pick that. Uh, the third medicine on our list is this Enrosol. Uh, this is um, this is for respiratory diseases. And uh, if your rabbits are sneezing, uh, if your rabbits are having flu, uh, this is the medicine that you will be giving to them. Uh, I hope my camera can focus well. This is going to work for snuffles, for flu, and any respiratory disease uh, for your rabbit. Uh, the next uh, medication that you need is going to be uh, this one here. This is Ambrolium. Uh, Ambrolium is going to work uh, on your bunnies. Uh, this also works for chicken, and this is to treat costiosis. Uh, how do you identify costidiosis in uh, rabbits? Uh, the going to have uh, more or less like um, diarrhea. Uh, the droppings are no longer going to be solid. So this ambrolium is what you can give to your bunnies uh, to fix that issue. And normally, if you're keeping chicken around your rabbit farm and uh, the your Chickens get uh, this costiosis, they can easily pass it uh, to the rabbit. So if you keep around chickens, ensure that uh, you have uh, this ambrolium uh, at hand. Uh, these are really cheap. You can pick them from uh, the veterinary shop uh, near you. So this is ambrolium. Uh, one of the other things that you will need is... Uh, this is uh, Aminovit. Aminovit is a multivitamin, uh, like you can see here. Uh, the composition, you have vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin B1, uh, vitamin B12, uh, vitamin K3, vitamin E. So this is a multivitamin, and this is very essential for your farm. You need to have multivitamin and Give your rabbits multivitamin regularly. Maybe you can uh, administer this. Uh, this is uh, to be put in water. So in the drinking water for your bunnies, you, you put this multivitamin. 
uh, the multivitamin is going to help your bunnies to be healthy, uh, have appetite to eat uh, the feeds, and also these uh, vitamins uh, may not be gotten from the grasses uh, that you or the pellets that you feed to your bunnies. So this is an important one for you to keep on the farm. Uh, the other uh, that you need on the farm is going to be a dewormer. Uh, this is Escalex, uh, which we use here for deworming. And uh, this circuit here of, uh, let me see how many grams are these. Uh, uh, these are 30 grams. So this circuit of 30 grams uh, mixes 20 liters of water uh, for your bunnies. Uh, deworming is going to get uh, rid of uh, worms that are in the rabbit stomach and any other parasites uh, that are on, are on your rabbit uh, because these, when your rabbits have these, uh, they kind of slow down in terms of growth. So you need to have the this Escalex uh, or any other dewormer that you can find and maybe deworm uh, your rabbit once ever after two months or three months, uh, depending on how you like to do it. Uh, uh, there are also some uh, natural remedies that you can use to deworm, uh, like the bitter leaf. If you find a bitter leaf and a purple leaf, those you can make a powder out of them and also simply just dry them and feed it to your rabbits. Those will also do, do you well. Uh, the, the other thing is maybe when your rabbit is having um, clogged ears, uh, sometimes this is uh, caused by ear mites and mange. That's, why, that, that's where this ivermectin comes in. Uh, we have used uh, vegetable oil uh, to just drop a few drops in the ear and to kind of clear the ear. But this has always come back. So you, you, you do it uh, in May, maybe this month, uh, after maybe about three, four months, then it, it happens again. But when you use this ivermectin, the injectable, it clears the ears uh, for good. So this is a must-have on the farm uh, because these ear mites and, uh, and skin diseases are the most common uh, with rabbits. Then possibly the what? The... Uh, the enrosol for for respiratory disease uh, because those are the most common uh, diseases in rabbits. Like you can hear, we have one there which is sneezing. Uh, so we have given it uh, part of this medicine in the water and we hope that that is going to go away. Of course, you give the medicines alongside the multivitamin because this also makes wonders. Uh, if you've watched this video this far, uh, please consider giving it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel to be informed whenever we, we upload uh, content about rabbit farming. Remember guys to feed your rabbits hay. Uh, we're kind of now preparing for our evening feeding routine. You see that we are tying the hay. Uh, your bunnies should have 80% hay on their diet. Uh, that's when you will not have issues with bloating. Uh, if you're having issues with blood, uh, what you can do is uh, you can give vegetable oil. We haven't found any medicines in, uh, in the vet shop uh, that treats bloating. Uh, but what you can do is you can give uh, your rabbit some vegetable oil uh, and through the mouth. So you put it in a, in a syringe which has no needle and then you administer it to your bunny. Uh, then you massage the stomach. Uh, remember, guys, uh, this this information which we are giving you here, we are no um, vet expert. We're just giving you information that we have tried uh, based on our experience uh, raising rabbits. But if you have uh, your bunnies uh, sick, please endeavor to reach out to your vet uh, near you to have the issue addressed. Otherwise, you can give this as first aid as you wait for your vet uh, to come around. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.